What is up, my barbecue people? All my little meatheads. Welcome to the live Q&A on how to smoke a turkey. Live. Hence the live Q&A. On today's video, we're going to be talking about how to smoke a turkey, how I like to smoke a turkey, and then we're going to be answering your questions live. And there's a lot of questions around turkey. Do I brine it? Do I inject it? How long do I, you know, brine it for? All kinds of things. So grab yourself a drink. I got mine. Little Jack and Coke. You know that. I'm going to silence my phone right here. My boy John Malecki, he better be on here. I don't see him yet. Silence my phone. All right. It's on silence. And there's California, Dean Dill Pickle. I love that name, Dill Pickle. Y'all ever seen uh, uh, Best Dill Pickle Beer? Yeah. Hector, my man, Eric, Chris, what's up, Kevin? It's been two weeks since you've seen me. Two weeks. Andre. Brian, what's everybody drinking today? What are you doing today? Are you cooking? I don't know if you can tell. It's a beautiful day in Oklahoma, but it is windy as all freaking get out. Stefan's in Oregon. Oh, man. I should. You guys, I'm going to show you something. I just. Hold on. I'm going to tear this up, but I apologize. I just got my new TV right there. So it's kind of been nice to come out here and watch football. Just come out here and enjoy the weather. It's beautiful here. It's just windy as all get out. Yesterday I smoked mac and cheese, half slab of rib that fell apart when I picked them up. Uh, beer and razor riding. Come on up soon. Jake. Hey, man, Jake. Woo. Woo, man, I'm pumped. I, do you guys mind if I shoot a video all about my razor? It's not in yet. It's ordered. It's coming. It's not in yet, though. But I bought the brand new 2021 Yamaha Wolverine R-Max 1000 Limited Edition. And them things are fast, man. Them things are fast. I, I got in the, the R-Max 1000. It's not the limited edition. Uh, those of you that follow me on Instagram uh, saw that video. And if you're not following me on Instagram, man, you guys have been missing out. We've been doing some crazy stuff, man. I, I just got back from Guggen Week. And, man, we had so much freaking fun. Uh, John B. let me drive his Lexus. And, man, that thing is fast. My glass has got something on it, man. Yeah, me and John B. was out driving that Lexus. It's awesome. Uh, just got a new tattoo. <laughs> you probably can't see it. Uh, yeah, Guggen Week. Uh, they brought in a tattoo artist. And, you know, hey, man, when in Rome. Thank you, Stephen. Nice to be back. Hello from Shawnee, Oklahoma. Oh, Larry Morgan. Tried your meatloaf recipe. It was amazing. Danny, that thing is crazy, man. Is it? I don't even care if you – you don't even have to like meatloaf. What's up, Smoking Joe? Coachella, California. Jeff Wallace is in Birmingham, Alabama. Been through there. What's up, Jeremiah? What are you guys drinking? I got Jack and Coke. You guys was here when I cracked that bottle. We're about down to here. About down to here. Of course, we've you know we've had some company over, so Rooster up in Houston. Bud Light, Cincinnati, Coors, Crown and Coke, Miller Light. 
Two Hearted Ale. Never heard of that. Leaf Holbrook, Sky Took, Oklahoma. I think that's where my boy Donnie lives. I think he lives in Sky Took. If not, he's close. Oregon. So no drink, sadly. Yeah. I'm drinking air. Woodstock, New York. Cheers to you, brother. Wild Turkey. Belgium. All right. We got Belgium in the house. <clears throat> nice. Nice, nice. All right. So without any further any further, the word just left my head. Ado or whatever it is. Let's just jump right into it. So how I like to smoke my turkeys. Now, I'll be honest with you. It's kind of a thing for me. Um, I try to buy, I don't get the biggest turkey out there just because they, for me, they tend to be a little bit drier. Um, so I like a nice like 12 pound turkey. And I put that in, uh, in our turkey brine in a five gallon bucket or just whatever container you got. Um, and I like to brine it for at least 24 hours, at least. Jump by, 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 Jack Daniels got your tongue. <laughs> yeah, I like to. I, I, I brought it in our turkey, uh, our turkey brine, and uh, I believe one of my guys just posted a link there. Uh, for those of you that know and that have been around Cosmos for a while, every year this time we release our turkey brine, and I am so happy to say it is actually out there. Live on the site for you to buy. You're the first ones to know about it, right? Because hey, you're coming. You're coming to me live. I'm gonna, you know, you're gonna be the first dibs at it. What up, Cosmo from Denver? <laughs> so I like to brine it for at least 24 hours. Now, here's here's the trick that not a lot of people know about. After you're done browning it, pull that turkey out. I like to put it on a sheet pan on a, on a grate so air can get underneath of it. And I put it in the fridge. I put it back in the refrigerator, covered up with a towel, nothing on it. And I leave it in there for another 24 hours. And what this is going to do to that skin is nothing short of fantastic. It sucks all that moisture out of the skin and sucks it in that turkey. And you get a amazing skin. Amazing. Absolutely freaking amazing. And then after I pull it, after it's set in the fridge for 24 hours, I pull it out. I rub it with a little butter. I like the butter. And then I personally like to hit it with uh, Dirty Bird Hot. Now, word on the street is, I haven't tried this yet, but I had a guy tell me, he said, you absolutely need to try your turkey with cow cover hot. Absol it, it's an absolute game changer. And I was like, well, I could see that. I've had ribs with cow cover hot, and it was phenomenal. So I think this year, I'm going to do mine in cow cover hot. I may be due to. Do one in Dirty Bird Hot, one in Cow Cover Hot, and then smoke it. And now, I, I just do it on one of my stick burners out here. It doesn't take me very long. I try to keep the, the I try not to go too hot and fast because it'll 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 cook that breast too fast. Um, golly, it's windy, man. Can you guys hear that? It is windy. Um, and then I cook it till the breast hits about one sixty two. 162. The reason why is it's, it's going to still come up in temp, and that's when I, you know, wrap it up, uh, put it, just tin it in foil, put it in the, uh, uh, put it in a cooler or something, and just let it rest. And it is, I, I'm telling you, when you cut into this thing, it is going to be 
stupid juicy. I mean, stupid juicy. So, with that being said, that's how I like to smoke my turkey. Um, so, let's just jump right into some questions. Hearing that busting, yeah, it's windy here, man. It is windy. Hopefully, these earbuds are are uh, are helping out quite a bit. What wood do you prefer? Uh, I personally like pecan and hickory. And then towards the end, I like hitting it with a little bit of apple. I really do. What temp do you hold the smoker at? Um, I like to stay 275. 260, 275 is my sweet spot for turkey. And it is unbelievable. What's up, rude dog? Did I miss any more questions here? These comments just go flying by. Brian injected and smoked. Now that's a great that's a great question. Um, a lot of people that is one of the biggest qu questions we get. It, it, can you brine and inject? One thousand percent yes. So what I would do is I would brine it, put it in the fridge for twenty four hours, covered with a a towel, and then after that, before I put the butter on, I would inject it. And if you want to mix a little of that uh, turkey brine in your injection, maybe like a half a cup to like 20 ounces of liquid, uh, you can use low sodium chicken broth. That works well. And just like a half a cup of that, uh, that turkey brine, it's going to be phenomenal. Just make sure when you're pulling the injection out, you know, I shake it up and I like to let it set. If you can, when you're when you're uh, leaving the turkey in there for the, the second 24 hours to dry the skin out, go ahead and mix your injection and just leave it in the fridge, you know, and just shake it, you know, whenever. But then before you inject, you need to let it set for at least 10 minutes to all the solids drop. And then make sure when you're, pull, when you're, you know, sucking that injection out of there, don't stick your tip all the way to the bottom because you don't want to pull that up or, and then uh, um, clog up your needle. Slovenia? Slovenia? Oh. Okay. Temp for cooking turkey. 275. Spatchcock. Love spatchcock. Love it. And if you're going to do spatchcock and you want to, it, it cooks way more evenly. But then you can harvest all the meat off of there and put it on a platter. Uh, will it work with a Weber kettle? Yeah, I've actually done it on a Weber kettle. And if you have a Weber kettle rotisserie, oh man, phenomenal. It's going to cook. It's going to cook fast though. Probably about two hours. So just know that because I've done that. And next thing you know, my turkey was ready to, because uh, I thought it'd take about four hours like normal. Uh, my turkey was ready two hours early. So we had to, had to sit there. 275, brine 24 hours, inject with a little butter and garlic. Love it, man. Love it. Santa Maria, California. What are you guys cooking this Thanksgiving? Are you cooking turkey? I hope so. Sometimes, sometimes, um, sometimes I do uh, switch it up and do prime rib. I know you're not supposed to, but you know. That's okay. Uh, Justin asks, do you, do you spray your turkey while cooking? Um, it just depends. I don't have a problem with it. If you're really trying to get that skin nice and crispy, just get the blue spray butter. You can spray it with that. That will help uh, get that skin extra crispy. Um, you can also do a fruit juice or just plain water. Favorite drink to go with turkey? Oh, uh, yeah, probably Jack and Coke. Um, I like smoke better than fried. Tiffany said, do you like smoke better than fried? Um, I do. I do. But here's, here's something you can do, Tiffany. If you do have a smoker, you can put it in that smoker for about an hour and get all the smoke on there and then finish it off in the fryer. So you get... The, the dual threat. 
Me and my dad are doing turducken, Steve says. That's awesome, man. Uh, where'd it go? I just saw. A, uh, Kevin says spatchcock turkeys. Yeah, you, you can do spatchcock or whole. I do like spatchcock, though. Um, have you tried the... No, I've never tried the Traeger stuff, the Traeger uh, Brian kit. Didn't even know they had one, to be honest with you. How can you make a good gravy if you smoke turkey? Dude, take them, uh, take all them chitlins out of there, all them gizzards and stuff, smoke them, cut them up into little pieces, put them in a pan, make you a homemade pan, uh, pan gravy. Phenomenal. Fried brisket. I've never tried that. That's probably not a bad idea. I don't know how it'd turn out. Uh, uh, can you inject mid-cook? Yep. Chris, you can. You actually can inject mid-cook. If I was going to inject mid-cook, though, I would be injecting a flavored butter that's melted. Not hot. You know, you got to melt it down and then let it cool down and then inject it mid-cook. Injecting uh, liquid butter in there, that's good, too. Uh, do you like smoker? Uh, Chris Ball, I'm not sure what you're trying to get at there. Um, maybe do I like smoked turkey? I love smoked turkey. How do you smoke a turkey and get really crispy skin? Rotisserie. Man, on a rotisserie, on a Weber... That skin will get crispy, crispy, crispy. And for those of you that are here live today um, that want to go over to the site and grab some uh, turkey brine, we're going to put a code out there, YT20 off, all capitals. Go over there, get 20% off today while you can. Like I said, YT20 off, go over to Cosmos, um, Get 20% off, man. Might as well. Use the link. There's a link in there, too. Tony's Injectable Creole-style butter is an awesome turkey. Yes, it is, Doug. They make some good stuff. Uh, Traeger or offset barrel for better flavor? Uh, it's just it, it just depends on your, I, I would say, skill level, but it also depends on you know how much you want to mess with it. Uh, turkey off of a, a spatchcock turkey off of a can is phenomenal. Kyle says, "How can you inject the turkey without it without it coming back out?" You can. And a little's gonna come out. I mean, it's just it's just the way it is. But yeah, you 100% can. In competition, we used to inject the thighs when they were done with flavored butter. When they were done, shoot that butter in there. It's crazy good. Have you ever had spatchcock ham? No. Uh, I guess technically, what I do to a uh, a pork butt would technically be spatchcock. Justin says, how do you stay so skinny? It's funny you say that, man. Dude, uh, I'm not skinny. I wish I was. Uh, two racks on the grill right now. Any update on Wes's replacement? No, not yet. Not yet. I've uh, had some guys reach out to me. And uh, we'll probably bring bring uh, um, a couple in and test them. You know, see, see how they do. Jason says, thank you for the code, Hoss. Hey, man. Thank you, Jason. Thank you for showing up to Alive. Uh, have you used the rotation stick burner smoke? The, the, what is it? Have you used the rotation stick burner smoker? No, I don't guess I have. Um. We have the rotisserie for the Weber kettle. Love your hat. Uh, thank you. Thank you, by the way. 
These hats are now on teamcosmo.com. Unfortunately, is is they're back ordered. Everybody bought them. But we're going to have some soon, so just make sure you're checking out there. What's up, Charcoal Charger? CJ got his hat. <laughs> These are cool hats, man. Um, have a young chicken special cock and chicken so. Oh, nice, nice. Y'all got any Cosmo patches? Yeah, we do. I think they're on our Team Cosmo side. I had a bunch of them made. Are you always this cool? I wish. I wish. It's you guys. You guys bring me to life. Does anybody carry your products in Canada? Yeah, we have a ton of places in Canada ton of places uh i don't know all of them we have a uh a, a new uh a distributor up there that is absolutely killing it absolutely killing it cj said cosmo's the coolest dude you'll ever meet I'm going to have to pay him to say that now. <laughs> Thanks, CJ. CJ's awesome, man. If you guys don't know CJ, cook it with CJ. That dude, yeah, he is awesome. Turkey on the outlaw. Cow cover on prime rib. 1,000% yes. And I would hit it with a little bit of Texas beef, too. Absolutely. freaking lutely Uh, any thoughts on the Oklahoma Joe barrel smoker? I've used it. It actually, you know, isn't a bad one. I know they had some uh, uh, design issues with it when they first built it. But uh, I use a pit barrel. I got the pit barrel. It's actually sitting right over there. I got my Weber and my pit barrel over there. I probably need to bring them over here. I keep, I got my Traeger over here and I don't know what happened with Traeger. Uh, we used to be friends. I don't guess we are anymore. Uh, my boy Chad Ward, he used to he used to text me. We used to talk. He doesn't even respond to me anymore. So I don't know. They may be mad at me. More videos on the PBC. All right, Jeremy. I don't got a problem with that. I love that pit barrel. It's fast too, man. I cook fast on that thing. I can get, uh, man, I can get racks of ribs done in about two hours, two hours, 15 minutes. Um, yep, there's that code, YT20 off. For everybody that's joining me live, that's for you guys, man. That's for you guys. So get over there. Cost on the pit barrel is three forty nine for the thirty gallon. Have you ever done any competitions in Virginia? No, Tiffany, I haven't. That's a long way. But I did get my barbecue trailer out this week, and man, it, it you know it just felt good. It felt good. I took it down to Guggen Week. For those of you that you know, I hang around a, a bunch of guys in Texas called the Guggens, the Guggen Squad. Uh, fishing, outdoors, all that stuff. And, man, I have so much fun with them guys, man. So much fun with them guys. Uh, do you have any products in the Baton Rouge, New, Louisiana, New Orleans area? 100%. If you go to CosmosQ.com in the top right, you can click Locate a Dealer, and it'll pull up a map and show you the closest dealer to you. Happy Saturday, Coulter. Uh, where did it go? Ever compete or 
uh, plan to compete any anywhere near Salt Lake City. Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing on the books. I do love Salt Lake City though. That is a, a awesome, awesome town. Uh, what's the current temperature in Oklahoma today? I think uh, today's high is 75. Have you ever cooked venison? Yep. Actually, uh, there's a video coming out on the Dugan Squad channel. Um, we did a little competition with uh, venison, and I did uh, uh, we did backstrap, but I did what I call my deer, my, my bacon wrap deer dogs, and I took that backstrap and sliced it into like little hot dogs, bacon wrapped it and smoked it to 135. Ooh, it's good. I'm moving to Colorado from Tinker Air Force Base three weeks ago going, oh, uh, William. Hey, it's, it's beautiful in Colorado, though. Need that sweet honey pecan back. I'm sure we'll bring it back sometime. But we are going to be bringing another rub back that we haven't sold in a while. And... I think you're really, really, really going to enjoy this one. It's a good one. I need a good fajita rub. Yeah, we're working. Actually, we're working on a, a, a new line of rubs. Um, I think there's right now we have five, five of them, but I, I, I want to make a, a one more. You should do a pineapple rub. Huh. I never thought about that. Smoked mac and cheese recipe. Yep, Chris, you ought to look that one up on, that we have here on the channel. It's an amazing recipe. Nice chili lime rub. Now, we do have the, the chili lime wing dust that it also works as a rub. Believe it or not, it's really good, too. It is really good. Best natural lump for Kamado with no chemical taste. Roll oak. All natural. Should do a cherry rub. Yeah, probably good. Uh oh, <laughs> Paul. Paul's on to something. More videos on the 560. We got the 1050 right here. This is the same thing, pretty much. Do you have any problems smoking with the Master Belt 560? Not at all. I absolutely love that cooker. Absolutely. It's awesome. It is freaking awesome. And if you're in and around the Oklahoma City area, we got, um, I think we're the only ones in Oklahoma City that have them. So we got some up at the store. Not that many, though. So if you're going to grab one, I'd grab one. Uh, best, thing to drink. best thing to drink while you're smoking a turkey, your buddy's beer. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Oh, uh, turkey on the master belt 560. Yeah, it'd be a good turkey, too. I promise you. No, I've never played with the Rectex. Oh, uh, 
Ooh. Well, you plan on coming to Memphis? Yeah, I love Memphis in May. Memphis in May is awesome. If a, oh, that's funny. Jeremy says, uh, ever vacation in Broken Bow? We love that area. Yeah. Actually, we were just down there probably about two months ago. We went down there, took our razors, rode on the lake. Or we, you know, went boating on the lake. Have a, had a great time down there. Uh, what's your favorite kind of rib glaze? I'll tell you right now. Uh, we got two of them that is, are going to launch here in a couple weeks. They're going to launch to the um, the Cosmos Q Club first. So if you're in the Q Club, don't worry. You're going to be able to purchase them in a couple weeks. And that's the Sweet Asian uh, rib glaze and the uh, uh, maple bourbon rib glaze. And I'm going to tell you right now, those two are freaking phenomenal. Nashville hot chicken on a turkey. I bet you that would be good. Honey pecan on turkey does freaking rock. Yeah, maple bourbon is gonna. It, it, I'm telling you right now, the maple bourbon is is mind blowing. But that sweet, that sweet Asian man, sticky Asian. I'm gonna tell you right now. Get ready, get ready for that one. That's gonna be that one right there is gonna be an absolute game changer. It, it's gonna be a game changer in the backyard. But what it's going to do to the competition circuit, it, it will probably stand it on its freaking head. At what do you point? At what point do you put the rib glaze on the ribs? Um, so a lot of I like to put some in the wrap, but then when I'm done cooking them. It depends. It depends what I'm going for. Uh, if I want you to taste barbecue sauce first, I'll brush the bottom of the rack with barbecue sauce and then the top of the rack with the rib glaze or vice versa. Whatever flavor you're wanting first, put on the bottom. Uh, looking to buy a rotisserie, should I buy one for barbecue or egg? Uh, I don't know. Kyle, we sell the Kamados at the storefront, the Kamado rotisseries, and they're, they're on point. Dean Ort, Jack and Coke. Thanks, David. I appreciate that, brother. How do you get a sugar cookie marshmallow bark on a brisket? Um, I don't. I, I, I really don't know what you're trying to ask there. Um, now there was a thing. You, first of all, if you're wanting that that marshmallow that 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 bark like that, you got to cook it fat side up. Uh, second thing is is there there was a thing on the competition circuit a while back where towards the end of the cook, uh, people would hit the brisket with sugar to give it kind of that, that, that sweet bark. Best in, best injection for a comp brisket. Uh, dude, I've been mixing the, uh, the reserve blend and the smokehouse reserve blend 50, 50 lights out. I'm on you from Austria. When you're making, maybe we can send you some videos, make a rookie video. Maybe 
nominate the best one to play. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a good idea, Thomas. Oh. Uh, what, 30 to 40% of the public diabetic? Hmm, I didn't know that. Uh, I'm not diabetic, so I'm, I, I think diabetics just can't have sugar. Is, is that correct? Um, I know we do have a line of healthy rubs that don't have any sugar in them at all. And they're on the website, too. They're called the clean eating rubs. No sugar in them. One of them has a little bit of uh, honey powder, but there's no sugar. What's your favorite steak seasoning? Cow cover hot and right now it's cow cover hot and SPG and or cow cover hot and Texas beef. That's my favorite right now. Best place to get honey powder, probably Amazon. We used to sell it, but not. It was it was way before its time. Uh, no one really, you know. We sold we sold a bunch, but you know it was just way before its time. What's the coupon code? YT twenty off all capitals. There you go. Paul threw it in there. Best place to get steaks from. Um, Snake River Farm, you, you cannot go wrong with Snake River Farm. All right, everybody. It's, we've been on here about 30 minutes. I know a lot of people don't like these getting drawn out, so I'm going to cut out of here. If you guys got any more questions, pop them down in the comments. We always read the comments. We love answering your questions. We try to answer all of them. Um, so there is the website. If you want to grab some turkey, Brian, go over there, grab some web uh, – Get some turkey, Brian. Use the coupon code. Get 20% 20, 20 off. And, uh, man, you guys have a wonderful and blessed weekend. And I'll catch you later. Peace.